Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. What if I told you by the end of the video, you're going to get a lot of the free store model to use and you can size any size you want. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Are you ready? Let's get started. So if you're using the Rhino 7, you can come in into the Rhino 7, uh, new in V7 tab here and right here you have a package manager a lot of time you can search the name of the app that is available for Rhino 7 and I've been installed different kind of things in here you can also go into foodforrhino.com and in the food for Rhino there's a tons of the different app there and you can choose the one for jewelry design and as soon as you click on that and you also want to click on the app then you can see all of this some is free some is for uh, the jewelry design for some cost there so you can type it free jewel and then to search on the app we are going to download today so once you score it down maybe on the second page right there you have a free jewels um, what you wanted to do is you can download it and you can install into your computer. Once you install it, you have to turn your Rhino off and restart the program. And when you start it, how do you call it out? You're going to see what I have here is the quick rendering and also this is a quick command over here with the tab. If you don't see this coming up, what you can do is you can type it on the command bar for toolbar. And after you getting into the toolbar, then you will have all of this that is showing you the uh, what is the plugin and also the default for basic Rhino tool. And you can click on this is called uh, FJ Free Jewels Toolbar, and you want to check on those two. Then that's how you get this. You can tuck it anywhere. This is a quick rendering, like material wise, and and the other is for the stone setting now how do you call this out there's a lot of things that you can play with it today i'm just going to talk about the code it out for the stone and also quick rendering um, for the material and also the chain maker so for the stone you click on this icon right here is fj chain maker and this is completely free uh, for your rhino 7 so let's say i want a, a princess cut and I'm going to cling, uh, click on this uh, princess cut and it will give you a really quick preview there and you can like say I want five millimeters so you just type it five here and then just click enter and then this will be um, the stone for you to use now let's take on the property and take a look on this this is a closed mesh as this one's a closed mesh and then uh, it also give you a line uh, or curve that is um, from the top view that's exactly the shape of the stone so it will give you a curve and also give you the stone and how do you get the material on this one is simply you come into the material let's say I want them to be emerald color and then you just double click on the emerald and they will assign quickly assign this emerald color in the rendering so you can kind of quickly to get the preview okay so again if you wanted to use the let's say you wanted to have uh, emerald and you can decide it like the length the width you know the the girdle you can adjust all of them uh, for the specific size that you wanted to use and after you get this one i'm going to move it somewhere else and then you can you can still scale it if you want to to make them bigger and then you can um, use it for your stone setting so i hope this really help you to to get your stone all right so let's talk about the chain here and i'm going to moving this chain up so i have a curve over here and you can do any type of a chain i simply just wanted to create something really simple like roll or chain and so i'm going to making some sort of the donut shape and then it's going to use this command here for fj chain maker and you click on it 
and it will ask you like select the curve for the chain I'm gonna pick up this one and select the chain element which is this one of one piece over here and center point to oriented form and we're gonna click on the chain and point for orientation we're gonna click on here all right so you will give us something like that and right here you can see the chain is kind of jamming together because the distance is one if we have a distance a little bit bigger then you can see it's kind of spaced out so you kind of need to guessing in this way like how big the distance will work so i just changing to 1.5 and it also has that rotated uh for every of them is rotated 45 degree and things like that so then i will click enter then i will have this chain right there there's a lot more thing that you can do like uh, making a pilot hole um and also doing some sort of a simple pave and uh, some sort of arrangement like multi-piping, those kind of thing. Oh, by the way, let's take a look on this multi-piping. So if I'm going to be on the top view and I'm going to draw something like this, like multiple line. Usually when we pipe, we pipe one and they are the same diameter. So now I'm going to click on the multi-piping. So the end of the radius, let's say it is one, the middle radius let's say i'm going to set it for two so the good thing about it is you can making all of them at once that you have the uh the end is smaller the middle one is it's it's larger in the regular uh, rhino you probably can only make them into the same diameter when you need to make multiple of them so this is kind of a useful over there that's a lot of things right here you can explore Hope you enjoy the free stone from Free Jewel app. I often share a lot of uh, tricks and tips with my student in Jewelry Care Masterclass. And if you are interested to know how to boost your Jewelry Care design skill with my Jewelry Care Masterclass, you're welcome to sign up a one-on-one -on -one section with me. Let me plan a study plan for you to help you speed up your learning process. See you in the meeting.